Good afternoon and welcome to the Golf Bite Online product testing. This afternoon we're looking at the brand new Titleist AP1 712 iron. Uh, 712 range in the AP1 and AP2 has replaced the 710 range. Uh, brand new looking club, very very exciting. Uh, you've got the AP1 here which comes from 3 to gap wedge. Uh, and steel comes with the Dynalite Gold XP as standard and also available in graphite. Uh, with the graphite design shaft which is available in reg, stiff, light flex and now in ladies. Uh, what you've got if we bring the head here, you've got the new look club there so as you can see new looking club, i shield the light out there, different looking cavity, you've got a thinner sole and then you've got the new tungsten weight and dual sole design here in the cavity that basically just creates a higher moment of inertia, MO, MOI, and what that's going to do is create more distance. If we hit it, see how it goes. We've got the laptop set up with the trackland system to look at the readings. Nice looking clever address. Straight away you can see the difference between the 710 and 712. It's a lot nicer to look down on. It's not as big and as chunky as the 710. So straight away it's a nicer looking club. What they've also incorporated is more forgiveness in the long irons and then more of a traditional look through the more playable irons. So when you go through from 8 irons through to pitch and wedge, it's a lot more playable. So they've made the, the sole thinner, not as deep cavity because you just don't need it through the scoring irons. You just need more performance and that's what exactly what they've done. Um, so if we just look at it again, great looking club behind the ball, very very forgiving, going to be good for obviously Titleist being traditionally known as a playable brand but this being their more forgiving club. Very nice feel, very stable at impact, very very long. Um, in comparison we've got the 710 here, so just to show you the difference these are both six irons, straight away there if I bring them down, seven, cover up the light there, so you've got the 710 there, and then the 712, so straight away you can see the difference in the head designs, the sole's a lot wider there on the 710 than it is on the new 712, and obviously that's where the playability is coming in. So if we just look at the difference between the two clubs on the Trackman system. So if you look at the new 712 first, and we won't go too much into the launch conditions, we'll just look at the, at the distance with a couple of shots of each. So, you know, much nicer look in the 712 than the 710. And obviously with the new, with the new um, design of the more playability through the scoring irons, you know, it's going to launch it slightly lower on the six iron because you just don't need as much forgiveness as in the four and five. 175 carry, 180 total with the 712. We just hit one more just to see that consistency. probably just struck that slightly better so should be a little bit longer uh, if we wait for the reading on that yeah just a couple of yards in it 177 and 182 so that's the average distance with the 6 iron and the 712 looking at the 710 obviously we're going back bigger head straight away so you know a much nicer looking club the 712 than the 710 and obviously the 710 a very good club uh, outright anyway but uh, you can straight away see the difference between it we hit that you know obviously not an awful lot of difference in feel this is not forged you know it's, it's, it's very relatively forgiving yeah it's 173 173 carry to 17 eight di total distance, so just slightly shorter. We just hit one more, just to see that. It 
So straight, you know, the the 712 has got a lot more features, got a lot more going for it than the 710 did. And it's a little bit longer. Obviously, you hit a couple of shots there and total distance there, 178. So with myself, it's a few yards longer. You know, that's going to be incorporated across the board with with all the, all the golfers. If they're looking to upgrade from the 710 or just looking for a, a club that's going to be very, very forgiving and powerful through the long irons and then with that little bit of workability through the scoring irons. Any questions, please contact us at shop at, shop at golfbyonline.com. Thank you very much for watching.